Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today I get to make one of my favorite kind of videos. Those are the videos where I get to share free and incredibly cool stuff with you. And today, we're actually getting to share my favorite math book for game developers. And it's free, which is awesome. Now, if you're a regular to this channel, you may remember back in February of 2021, or like 7,000 years ago in COVID time, I talked about a new free ebook online, and it was called Computer Graphics from Scratch. By the way, it's still free and still online. Excellent book, especially if you wanted to learn the fundamentals of game development math. So that resource is still out there, and I will link that in the linked article down below. But today we are talking about a different book. And honestly, this is my personal favorite book for game development math. And first, let's talk about the author. So you'll know that he has legit credentials here. This guy is named Fletcher Dunn. And Dunn may sound familiar for reasons we will cover in just a second. But right now, he is a developer at Valve. He's worked there for the last decade. I'm guessing he works on uh, Half-Life 3. Don't hold that against him. Apparently, he works at all kinds of projects at Valve. Before that, he worked at uh, as a lead engineer at Wide Load Games, which was acquired by Disney Interactive Studios. And before that, he worked at Terminal Reality, where he was head programmer on Blood Rain. So the guy definitely has a heck of a CV. And on top of that, he is the namesake for Corporal Dunn. So yes, the Corporal Dunn from uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is named after the author of this book. So enough backstory, let's get into the book itself. And the book is called 3D Math Primer for Graphics and Game Development. His publisher has enabled him to make it available online, and it is Excellent. It's got a sense of humor. You may or may not like it, but it makes math approachable. And a lot of times game development math is one of those challenging areas. And now after that brief cameo from my phone, let us jump back in. Now before we continue too far, I want some help here. I'm noticing there is a bit of cheekiness here with licensing the back profile of characters in a completely non-licensed way. And I recognize almost everybody here, but I need your help. I think I've got them all. This is the Blue Ghost from Pac-Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, Ryu, Mega Man, Mario, Laura Croft, Link, I'm guessing Cloud, Stubbs the Zombie, uh, Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell, Pac-Man, I think this is Jill Valentine, but I'm not positive there. Who are the two purple dudes? Those are the only ones I'm guessing. If you know that, let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, let us jump in and take a look at the book. Now, one of the things you may notice right away is it's dark. And I know a lot of you guys are just all about your dark themes, so you're going to love that. I actually find it quite hard to read, um, this particular book, with the font choices they've done. Nice thing is, and warning alert for those light-sensitive things are about to get a whole lot brighter. There is a toggle here, and it does make it a heck of a lot more readable. By the way, you can get the book at gamemath.com. I can't believe that domain was available, but uh, here you go. Um, you're going to find in some ways the book is a little bit dated. Uh, so you're going to see here it was published in 2011. It's 850 pages, by the way. But 2011, so this is two years before League of Legends. Skyrim was just shipped. Uh, PS4 wasn't out for another two years. But for the most part, what you're going to find is that the math is pretty consistent. So, uh, and another thing that you're going to notice while we we're going through here, they do a lot of pop references. Now, some of those pop references are going to be lost on, a, I'll say, the younger crowd here, but if you're an old fart like me, you're going to appreciate that. And there's a number of jokes and a lightweighted way of, you know, bringing a very, very heavy subject to us all. So I really appreciate that fact. Now scroll on down here and we are going to find the chapters. So we got chapter one kind of gets you in. We'll go look at that in a second. It'll give you a good presentation of like the kind of level of ability you need to have coming in. But you're talking about things like Cartesian coordinate system. So you're starting at the basics of math. I figured if you've got about a grade 12 or a first year college level understanding of math, you'll be fine with this text. And if you, you know, basically you need to have a little bit of calculus and algebra coming in, but just the basics. It walks you through a lot of things. So we're starting with simple Cartesian coordinates. And then we move on to vectors. Uh, we have coordinate spaces and how they work, and then we've got matrices, and then we get into linear transformations, and then we cover uh, a bit more on matrices, and then we've got polar coordinates, and then we get into 3D, Euler, ha, finally said it right, you people, uh, angles, I, I don't know why Euler isn't said Euler, but okay, fine, Euler, um, rotation matrices, and so on, uh, chapter 9 is uh, commonly used geometric prim primitives, 10 is a lesson on graphics, touching on theoretical as well as modern practical approaches. Uh, chapter 11 crams two large topics into one chapter. 
a discussion of rigid body kinematics. So here we're going into the world of physics. Uh, then we get here into more physics stuff, inertia, mass, and so on. Chapter 13 explains parametric curves in 3D. So we're starting to get a little bit on the uh, fancier side of things. That's things like splines and so on. Chapter 14 uh, inspires the reader to pursue greatness in video games. And then we get two appendices, including uh, several useful tests performed on geometric primitives as a helpful reference. So the uh, Appendix A is kind of a quick reference for the user to come on back in. And so you're seeing you're not getting really uh, advanced here. In some ways, you can look at this as like a 101 level university um, math primer with a game development bent and a sense of humor. And I think so many of us could use that. I definitely could. This is kind of where my game dev math limitations are. I'm no expert by any means. Uh, but when I need to learn, you know, like the, the basics of game development math, this is pretty much the perfect uh, level for me. I, I have, uh, you know, in ancient years past, I have a 101 level of math knowledge that has been, uh, let's say, dusted. Um, so what you're going to find with a lot of this stuff going on here, there is a um, some historical reference. So, you know, Cartesian coordinates are na named after René Descartes. So there's some backstory in there. You're going to find jokes in here. You are going to find the use of dead sheep to illustrate things. And it's not over the top, but it does a good job. Kind of reminds me in some ways of the Head First programming series, like Head First Java, which actually I also recommend. They're, they're approachable books. They take a technical subject and make it so that mere humans can understand it. And this is why I love this book. For one, I like the sense of humor. The author and I, I think, would get along well in the real world. And you can tell that in the way that it, it's read and presented. So I find it an easy read. And there's not too many math textbooks out there that I would say are an easy read. Another nice thing is they use real easy to understand examples. So here's explaining um, Cartesian coordinates via a grid of streets, which is you know immediately intuitive. It makes sense. And um, yeah, it's got the right amount of uh, graphics and maths and, and, and illustrations to show you something so you don't have to just read a coordinate, you know, read a formula and, and try to extrapolate what that means. Like, boom, it's just uh, like this. It's nice. So uh, heads up and thank you to the author for publishing this. If you are struggling at all with math, it, I highly recommend understanding. Like, you got uh, the basics basically explained here. And this stuff is timeless. It's not like, uh, you know, uh, the rise of shader programming made fundamental math outdated everything here everything you are seeing here is basically relevant still this, this stuff is is just math math doesn't change that much over time i am curious what exactly is in chapter 14 to inspire greatness oh nothing <laughs> chapter 14 is really short all right there we go are you feeling inspired uh okay uh and then we've got the uh again the appendices oh i don't know how to get to them I don't know why the link isn't working. But anyways, this is the book. Uh, highly recommended. It is 3D Math Primer for Graphics and Game Development. I am sure in the past I recommended this book, and I recommended this book heavily because I find it as the most approachable math text that teaches the basic level of math that every single game developer needs. And the fact that it is now free, well, thank you to CRC Press for letting uh, Fletcher publish this on his website. And Fletcher Dunn, thank you for making this book. And for everybody out there, if you you struggle with math or you just kind of want to update it get this go check it out and if you really like it you know pick up a copy somewhere online support the author and all that so uh yep that's 3d math primer for graphics and game development a hands down heavy hardcore recommendation for me it was a recommendation for me before it was free now that you can get it online for free awesome go get it that's it talk to you all later goodbye